the detailing was what was the most special part of this project. From very early on, we worked with cabinet makers and metalwork and builders and Bishop and Paykel to sort of find a way that this concept of concealment could be achieved honestly because it's easy to draw but hard to produce. So each element, we had to make sure that we knew the limits of those very early on in order to get the desired result. I'm Ollie Booth from Ollie Booth Architecture and we're at a recently completed home in Hoon Bay. The brief came through uh, with Ron and Mark to look at how to sort of modify and upgrade the space that they have and so some early suggestions were around the idea of concealment. So sort of concealment provided the, uh, the main opportunities to sort of drive what happened in the space and we sort of worked through that together. So the concept of concealment's a nice idea but it's really important that it remains practical and functional. So the pocket doors provided an opportunity for us to conceal the inner workings of the kitchen and open them up completely when required for sort of daily routines and entertaining. So these were pushed back into the cabinetry, but inside we continued the same materiality, so it felt as it was a part of the kitchen and equally as important. The integration of the appliances and products was a really important part of the project. So from an early stage, we worked closely with Fisher and Paykel, with their designers and engineers, to find ways in which these new products, such as the columns, the fridges and freezers, could be used most effectively in the space. So that was to enhance the verticality, so full height cabinetry and low toe kicks. So ventilation was a really important component to work through. And with the integration, we could then create sort of blocks and modules that responded. We had the fridge and freezer in the bar area and then the dishwashing hub. Uh, on the island, so we created these cores throughout the space and that integration was really sort of central to the way that we could achieve this level of detail. Appliances and drawers uh, unlock the space, that's for sure. That sort of flexibility to also disperse them throughout the kitchen space. With the dish drawer, it could be located close to sort of the daily comings and goings, maybe that you use in, in your daily routines, and then they could be combined in separate areas for that sort of more low key, but sometimes higher intensity use in your sort of more weekend rituals. I guess the working triangle is always a consideration, but perhaps it sort of develops into something of like the division of space. So identifying where the, the functional areas of the home are and making sure that that connection is maintained, whether it be the cooktop to the outdoor living or the fridge central to both the bar and the kitchen so that when it was being used in high intensity times that it could respond to that rather than people starting to overlap. Again, to sort of emphasise that idea of concealment, it was important that the cooktop was recessed into the stone bench. So it was a lot of conversations with how we can achieve that with big openings, working with their larger products to make sure that you end up with a flush surface and then again coming down towards the ovens. They're so simple and dark, they were sort of beautiful enough. They're really the only appliance that's on display all the time. So it was nice to celebrate that and equally we required everything else sort of just tucked away and, and was concealed.